Furbies have got to be the stupidest, ugliest, and worst planned out product ever. So, I like to mess around with them. So, first off, we have an extremely annoying Furby. So here's how it runs normally. Um... Shut up! First off, you hold down both the front and back sensors. Um, it can take several tries to get right, and you have to hold them really hard and like really down low. So. Or like this, and then reset it. If it starts up back normally, then you didn't do it right, so it takes several tries. There we go. Next, it's in debug mode, so simply just tip it to the left. Put it back to the center, tip it to the right. Tip it backwards. Tip it forwards. Tip it upside down. its eyes, open its eyes, press the mouth button, um, then, um, to put it that way again, to put it upside down, Press that button while it's tipped. Back to the center. Do it this way. Press the button. Press the other button. How should it start doing some stupid moves like it's getting sick? Continue doing this, and then and now it's done. When you restart, it should have a complete personality loss, a new name, whatever. So let's turn it back on. Exactly. Hello and welcome to Furby Hacking Part 2. Uh, here I have an extremely old laptop, but I need an extremely old laptop for a reason. Um, extremely old laptops have a fading fast thing. Um, called I think like an RAA port or something and anyways basically it uses the same communication device protocol that the Furby does to talk with other Furbies and so I have this program where I'm going to use this old laptop to make my Furby do things so at the moment let's see you kinda see the screen there my Furby right here, who, uh, the line's kind of bad, um, who I just put to sleep, so it's going to be quiet for a minute. Uh, it's a pretty neat program. You press a key on it and it has a list of things you can do on it, so, like, A through 
E is different hello messages and all that kind of stuff. So now it's awake. Um, so I'm going to press this button. Let's see, it talks as soon as I hit these. This was used so that another Furby could try to have a fake conversation with the other one. But instead, I can have a laptop control anything from making it sing, making it burp, um, making it go to sleep, making it play games, and making it contagious so that any other Furby it goes nearby will get sick. So, first off, uh, I'm going to see what this does. Um, dance. Um, let's see. Okay, um, okay. Let's see if you can get a uh, closer view here. Um, you will see the infrared port uh, actually working. Try to move this a little so I can get a better view of the Furby. So it's sending something back, and I'm not sure what because I haven't really been debugging this much. So, sometime I'm going to try to get one of these ports for my better computer down there and uh, see if I can do some cool things with it, but I don't know, like maybe see if it can, I can have it talk whenever I get new mail or whatever. So in the meantime, that's just what I'm going to do. I'm going to make it get really sick right now. right there just press that button